Hey, what's going on, Scorpios? Butch Tarot here. I am going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Uh, we are going to be using the Spellcaster Tarot. And with that being said, let's get it. All right, Scorpios. If you could feel the heat coming off these cards. <laughs> First thing I see, Scorpios, is there is something new coming in. And when I mean new, first card, we got that new love. This is something coming in and it's coming in quick. You know, we have that Knight of Swords, very quick moving energy. I feel like with this person, there's an intense connection. And it's very intense. Like I said, I can feel the heat just coming off the cards. I feel like you didn't see it coming and neither did the day. Neither did they. I wish I could talk better. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, some of the best things in life is shit that we didn't see coming, but... The, I feel like neither one of you has seen this coming. But I feel like no matter whether or not we've seen it coming or not, it's here. You know, and I feel like... It's not one of those connections where... You know, we have to... You know, really... There really is no effort. It's just... It, it's coming in. It's... You know, there's so much compatible energy. I mean, we have... A lot of love here. We have that King and Queen of Cups. You know, I feel like you're both in the same place. You're both in the same place and you both want the same thing. And it's just, you know, if the shoe fits type energy. Like there's no, there's no overthinking. You know, we don't have to overthink this. I feel like when in life, when we meet people, we always wonder things, you know, you know, who's this person? What's their intentions? How do they feel with this person? There's none of that. You know, we have... This person's very to the point of what they want. And I feel like that gives you a lot of comfort. You know, and I feel like it gives you that, that sense of control. I mean, the best way to control a situation is know all the aspects. And you know, all, you're going to know all the aspects with this person. I just... You know, I feel like this person's coming in wholeheartedly. Like I said with that Queen of Swords, there's no bullshit. They're just going to tell you how it is, how they feel. Because it just feels right. And it's so nice when somebody can come along and just be real. You know, they just be real with you. They just open up. They just... They don't leave any room for misinterpretations. Now, you know, there is new love, like I said. But there's also that intense connection as well i mean it's very deep you know it, it, even though you didn't see it coming i feel like it's something you've both been waiting for and that's why it's so accepted you know i feel like you're both falling hard but just know that you're on the same page know that you're on the same wavelength here you know this is a deep connection that feeling of feeling like you're home 
feeling like you're exactly where you're supposed to be. It just feels right. You know, there's no hidden agendas. There's no bullshit. You know, there's no games. You know, this person is very confident, very passionate. There's a lot of passionate energy here. I mean, it's not just love. It's There's an intense connection physically, mentally. You know, there's so much balance here with that temperance, you know, that Sagittarius energy. That Leo, this person knows what they want. And I feel like the thing that I really enjoy about this read, I mean, what's really not to enjoy, but we have the Six of Cups, which is usually, I feel like it represents a past person or, but not in this read. It, you know, it, it reminds me, it makes me feel like that, like I actually felt the butterflies. You know, when you first, that first love, when you can think back to that first person that you felt any kind of emotional connection with romantically, you know, the butterflies, uh, can't wait to see them. All that is, that's what I feel like here. It's very, very childlike, you know, very innocent. Like I said, I mean, they're taking that leap of faith. This person wants to be with you. You know, they're not bullshitting. They're not, they're not playing any games. And like I said, I mean, I see a foundation being built here. And we have that family card as well. I mean, you know, it may be moving fast, but there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I, I feel like when it's right, it's right. And, and we don't have to overthink it. We don't have to, you know, it, it's, it's giving up. I mean, we have the emperor in reverse. I mean, it's not about control. They've given up control. They're in it. You know, it's not about ruling like the emperor would rule. It's not about that it's not that this person isn't kind of trying to control you this person isn't trying to control the situation they're just jumping in you know they're jumping in the deep end and and, and they're hoping to god they can swim <laughs> but they don't want to have any regrets you know like i said we have the family care we have you know a foundation being built here and we also have the hair and that that taurus energy i mean it's a strong union i, I I feel like you really have something here, Scorpio. Like I said, it's intense and it's only getting stronger. You know, I see a lot of emotional fulfillment, all your cups being filled. Like I said, I feel like you've both been waiting for this, you know, yearning for it. You know, even though it caught you by surprise, like I said, it's, it's just about the vibe, the vibe this person gives you. And the vibe you give them, you know, they've given up control and you have the control because, you know, you have, in order to be in control, you have to be, you know, you have to know all, all the moving parts. And with this person, they're an open book. You know, sometimes it's scary to fall so fast for someone, especially when we don't know where they're at, but this person is not going to leave any doubts. And that's why this is moving forward so quickly. You know, we have the chariot, a lot of forward movement, a lot of balance. You know, there's no bullshit. Like I said, this person's going to come out and they're going to be very honest with you. And what they say is what, how they feel. You know, I feel like you're going to have a really good time with this person. Like I said, they're, you know, it, it's all there. You know, when people say, you know, when they're attracted to somebody from across the room, this is... You know, and that would be in a physical sense. But with this, it's just like they're attracted right away. You know, but it's more than physical. It, it, it's almost like you look into each other's soul and you can just feel something much deeper at play here. It's very intense. You know, in all aspects, it's going to be intense emotionally. It's going to be tense mentally. It's going to be intense physically. We all enjoy that. But like I said, it's very, it's very innocent. 
you know, and what I mean by that first love that we have, you know, if we if if you take a second and just remember the first person that you ever felt emotional love for, that feeling that you got where we weren't jaded yet. We know we didn't have all the bullshit on us yet. You know, we didn't go through a couple bad relationships. You, you know, we didn't see the manipulating people or the toxic people. You know, it was just about the true feeling of it all. That's what I get from this read and that's what I love about it. And I mean, we have the death card and it's all about transformation. And I feel like this is more of a transformation of one, you know, two singular people into one. Now with this person, we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's Aries, Leo, some Sagittarius. You know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have some Taurus in there as well. I like it. <laughs> I really do. You know, it's so much going on in the world right now. And, and, and if two people can be just submerged into love, it's just, it's nice to know what's going on. You know what I mean? It's, I just love that, like that childness energy. Like I said, you know, even pause the video. Just think about it for a minute. Just think about that first love when there was no bullshit. There was no toxic energy. There was no, you know, you've been cheated on or manipulated or abused or none of that exists. That's what this feels like. Very innocent, but very intense. That's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.